So if you want to use these arrows for your projects, it's really easy with this node setup. I asked someone to build it for me because it would have taken me years to figure out that the complexity of nodes. So I'll show you real quick how they look like. So this is the node setup that makes this go like that. So the difference from this node setup from the previous one that you can also check out in my channel is that the previous one makes the arrow the arrows objects just follow the path and and they they move along the path and point in the right direction but they don't bend like this ones these ones are bending as you can see there so if we animate this they bend smoothly and they work perfectly so that's what i wanted and that's why i asked this person and i paid this person to uh, create this so that's perfect now if you want to use it in your project after you download the file from the link in the description below for free of course uh, you will have to append the uh, the file and append the node tree and then append also i think the materials i'm not sure i think it will import the materials because it has already some arrows by default like this ones but i i made my own arrows like this one's and uh, by the way let's just show the arrow here so the arrow have to be with enough geometry to be able to bend smoothly and work perfectly so make sure if you are using your own arrow to make it with enough geometry so let's go and dive in this here this is all you need to use you don't need to go into the geometry node setup or um, mess with the notes around so all you have to do is select your arrow object here this is the arrow scale you can change it here you can um, change the radius of the curve uh, if for some reason you need to do that I don't this is the uh, material of the arrows I'll leave it like that because that's actually a very useful material that is dynamic and changes according to the position of the arrows and so on and then we can flip the direction which is really cool I didn't ask for this but the guy added it that's really nice then the gap and of course the offset which is the main part for us to animate the arrows I'm gonna use it on my explainer videos and stuff and then the scale so that's basically where they end up and here and where they start they're gonna have a small scale so they gradually disappear and appear on this on the um, on the curve which is a very good feature that I wanted because otherwise they pop in and pop out then we have the material and with the material we can also con control the color so uh, right here we have this is the position so according to the position we'll change the color and this is the scale property which is at the beginning and at the end so if we change this um, to green you will see that at the beginning and at the end it, it changes to green like that so you can change this and so on so if we use this one instead uh, which is for the position that will um, that will generate a different color for different positions so the f and the factor put it here and that way we are generating a green at the start and then it changes to to red or this kind of pink at the end that way you can simulate like you know a cold air entering and then heating up or something like that whatever you want to use it for so uh, you can apply this to any curve of course uh, this comes already like an example there in the file but you can even go here and then go to edit mode and even use this tool and create your own uh, you're on right there now it's it's having a glitch because it's moving from this one to this one but we can create more here and here and so on um, of course this is not ideal so what we want to do is go and create a new curve and we can create a path and within the path or with the path we are going to uh, edit it and then to this path what you need to do is go to the um, uh, modifiers geometry nodes and then here you're gonna select the arrow follow path following path so that creates these geometry nodes in in that um, let me just delete this one that creates the geometry nodes for the path 
or the um, curve that you selected and now we can choose our arrow in my case is the cube and then we can start messing with this and that's it we have a great animation of arrows moving around and that's perfect all right i hope you liked it and i hope you save a lot of time using this um, this geometry node setup and if you find it really helpful or even if you're making something commercial uh, consider just leaving some dollars when buying or when acquiring these geometry nodes all right thank you and have a nice day